Well, well, what I have here today is my digital tuner converter box uh, with a live record live TV. And um, down here is my high definition media interface cable with a HDI, HDMI cable. Um, you can see it's made by Vizio. V I Z I O. So this can carry, carry a fast transmission of data as Ethernet built in. So you can transmit a high volume of data back and forth so that you can project 4K or 1080, all kind of resolution simultaneously. So let's check this out and see. I'm going to be wiring this, uh, hook up this box to my 65 inches uh, Vizio Smart TV with the integrated Wi-Fi system and we get from there I'm gonna take the box out the here and uh, I'm gonna go about it and hook it up so I wanna show you how everything goes here so if you have never done this before I want you to see um, it's not a hard so if you look at here it's gonna say HDMI so HDMI out so you want the pictures to transmit out to the TV okay and um, if you look at it one of these sides here will get into that box it's a lot of pins you see that so it's just a matter of corresponding the way the thing is designed see this one got an arch right there and see that it's flat on the other side so that means it goes that means it from this to this okay just use one end and plug directly to this this is how you connect HDMI cable and this side is gonna go to your TV but mind you I have some high quality uh, HDMI cable that tells you this one goes to the receiver and one goes to the um, um, that goes to the TV because it builds with a chip on this end if you crisscross that take the one that goes to the TV to the thing the, uh, to the box is not gonna work that's why you have to look most of the cable for by IN cable is gonna tell you that indicates this goes to the TV or the other one goes to the box to your blu-ray or whatever PlayStation but this one doesn't have the application but this is this one is capable of 4k transmission this one can transmit 4k resolution so that being said we're gonna go to the TV and get it all done today folks and you guys can able to see I'm gonna scan the channels and see what we can bring in live from the command center at JW Solo USA. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, share, and thumbs up. Bye for now. And before we do that, um, mind you. We have to install get the batteries ready for the uh, remote or else it's not gonna work so we're gonna take open the package here and get the remote out never put a batteries on a remote yet well this is how it's done if you've done it well you don't have to worry about it but make sure any remote control you buy make sure you have to check for batteries some of them do come with batteries, some don't. So you always be prepared to find the right battery that goes with it. These are kind of cheap batteries, not like a high quality batteries that came with it. So you can see it's PK cell. PK cell. It says a heavy duty. So we're going to take, you make sure sometimes when you buy this thing, make sure you look 
it's gonna tell you in the thing is a double A or triple A batteries so you don't have to uh, confuse yourself you gotta make sure you have the right ones it said 1.5 volts in there and it says triple A you see the three A's there that's why it's called triple A Okay, so you're gonna see that triple A battery. So we're gonna crack these batteries. It's not hard if you can't do that, just use like a, a scissors or something, and you can able to just um cut it. Or if you have strong nails, you can able to do that. So these are the batteries here, and make sure you align them always where the spring is that's the negative and the other side is the positive uh, negative as well so they go in series positive negative to positive negative to positive so it's in a series okay they never run parallel they go series and get the other one one the head you see the head here is the positive here's the negative so one is going up, the other one is going down. So increase the voltage. Okay, increase the voltage, and the uh, amp stays the same on this battery. Put back the cover, snap, and it's ready to go. Let's go check it out. Okay, cool. So when you take a close look, you will see that we have to select the input here because I'm where I'm going to be putting it. It's supposed to be a HDMI. I have up to about four inputs compared. This one is another one, RG, which is for a computer. And this other side here, you know, you see computer. That's a composite, that's the red, white, and yellow. So here is the TV. So I'm gonna be plugging into HDMI one, which is gonna be the input. Okay, we select one. So stay tuned. Let me plug the uh the box. I have the box right here in front of me. So I'm gonna be taking it there and install it. Stay tuned. Oh, as I mentioned the, the last time, don't forget to remove the plastic because there's a plastic that embed into these vents right here. You know, that will make your box to overheat and blow up. So make sure you remove that plastic so that you can have a, a your box can breathe well. So never, don't forget, don't get too excited and get caught up that you never took this uh take this uh plastic out and you're gonna end up frying your box so just do that okay that's what i'm doing stay tuned all right guys you can see the box i already took the plastic off so now you can feel the vents your finger can go through see that you can hear that so make sure you always take that don't get caught up and with things and forgot to remove that because the box is going to overheat and it's going to go kaboot. All right, guys, I already have the box plugged and let's see if I can pan a little bit. You can see it. You can see it over there. And let's try power up the box and see if it's going to come on, turn on. All right, guys, I was going to power the box. What I found out here, there's something that's not right. So, um, it seems like we're having some um, issue here, which um, is kind of interesting. So, hold on, let me show you what's going on here. So, it seems like there is a shortage, a shortage of power here on the box. If you can see it uh, properly, um, this is not good. But you know, you expect to buy something new and working, and something happened here. Well, it's a quick fix. 
So if you look here, there's a little transformer back here. Sorry for the light. But what happened here is really interesting. And I decided to address this on the video. So basically, when you buy some of this stuff, I think this box is a China, made in China, I suppose. Um, right here is a little transformer. So it's kind of search. You can see like a kind of little spark coming out. I don't think, I think they forgot to solder the, uh, solder, sorry. So it's a solder, one of the legs on that transformer. It's kind of, uh, search. It's a little, uh, a surge, a spark happening there. So the box didn't turn on when I was trying to get it to run. But anyway, this is what happened. So I just trying to fix it. And this is the entire thing that comprises with the box. It's not like any fancy uh, technology inside that thing. But, you know, but when people know how to do what they do, but it, it, it's still, um, I think it's supposed to be a good box. But anyway, I'm just too surprised. I'm not disappointed yet till I test it. And you will see, sorry, because I'm trying to get a better light. I'm using the LED it's way too bright. It's just washed out the entire um, resolution. So this is how we're going to do. We're going to plug this in and test it. Here is going to be the antenna coming in here. Okay. I think you can't even see that properly because the LED is too, too bright. So here. So we're going to test it and it's going to see on the front is boot. B-O-O-T. B -O -O -T. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug it. And I'm going to leave it open like this and we test it, okay? All right. You see, that's the uh, the box is on. And you can see it on the bottom there, the orange on the right corner. You see the light down there on the right corner right there. That's the box right there with the two four strokes or hyphenated lines there. So, guys... This is what is happening here, but um, I want to make sure that everything works. At this point, it's just a temporal fix. I just trying to catch that box and make sure and touch where we can have more connectivity. And you guys can see, take a look on the right corner right there. That's the box right there. So let's go back here. The antenna is already connected, so it's US English, say installation guide, OSD language, and the country is US. So let's go and search, okay? Put it on the channel and push the enter button right here in the middle. Then it's gonna do the stuff. So now it's telling you that um, this one can even scan radio as well. Interesting, right? Interesting. So you can have radio station that is digital. You can listen to radio and you can listen to TV. Some TV station has a radio broadcast as well. So this is what is happening. So it is it, uh, tuning in from um, nine. Uh, okay, from four seventy nine megahertz slash six megahertz. You see the channels. So anything that comes to the radio, uh, it has a radio station there. It's just like satellite re receiver. Free to air has stuff like that too. So you're gonna see them appear on the left and right hand corner over there. You can see a little dash, little blue thing on the bottom that says progress, and that's how the uh, the entire box is working. There's a green light right now on that thing. That says scan underneath the box. It says scan. You see that on the corner right here, right there. There's a anytime you get a, a channel, it's like giving a red, a green indicator. Tells you that um, the box is working. It's scanning. So you see even about 25. So he has a K, J, N, K, dash L, K channels all the way down. W, C, C, O, digital. That's uh, channel four. And it has movies. They get Fox 9, Fox 9 Plus. So KSTP, 
uh, DT, Digital Television, that's uh, Channel 5 for us. So it, it just put things uh, randomly, the numbers, I, I don't know. So you guys can see what is happening here. It hasn't got any radio yet, any radio channels. So for maybe uh, radio broadcast. You see the green light flashing on the, on the right corner? Right there, that's my finger. You see anytime it goes so we have about 33 channels here and the antenna is just up there on the right corner see the the blinds if you see the blinds up here the antenna is up right up here all the way up here i just set it up there so let's see and the other thing i don't want the the um the video to capture the image because i don't want youtube to flag my video um i'm, I'm working on because they have the tendency doing that all the time, flagging your video, and you are now in trouble for copyright. So uh, I don't want to do that. So if something happened, uh, my probably picture comes up before the time, I will, might just uh, edit that part. But these are all the channels active right now. That's the channel right there. Okay, that's enough. So that's the antenna up there. I just want to tell you that uh, the TV works and I don't want to scan. I don't want to show you the pictures completely because I don't want my video to be uh, flagged and um, let it stay the way it is. I just set it up there. You can see all the action happen and you just saw a glimpse of that picture. Trust me and everything is working. Take care guys and love you guys all. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. To the channel like and share this video and stay tuned for more updates coming because we have to fix that box with all the uh the um sir, um uh, spark that is happening there all right folks uh, this is the box you can see it's telling the channel that uh, it's working and um, we just uh, just want you guys to I'm sorry because you guys can't able to watch exactly all the rest of the channels here, but everything is working. Everything is working. So I wasn't planning to, to have a box that is probably broken or that doesn't work for this test. To be honest with you, I want things to work or things change or things tend up to be how don't supposed to be, but, uh, well, we can fix that. So now I just push the thing, the little transformer right there, um, this one right here. If I push it hard, it's going to shut off. So that's the tra a transformer. Okay. That's a little mechanism here. It's a heat sink. And this is the tuner input right here. This is a tuner. So guys, um, I just, um, I don't want this thing to overheat, but I know it's going to work. And this is how we're going to leave this thing running. And I'm going to be checking all the uh, channels.